and as we reported India Supreme Court passing that landmark judgment today which has reiterated the right of all women to have abortions in states that uh, women will be given up to 24 weeks to go through the process. The judgment comes one day after International Safe Abortion Day. Wednesday saw protests against restrictive abortion laws across the world. The US Supreme Court's judgment striking down Roe versus Wade made headlines across the world. Now Italy has brought a right-wing anti-abortion party to power. Alarm bells went off in Paris after the developments in its neighboring country. People took to the streets to say abortion rights are non-negotiable. We see this in Italy where Giorgia Meloni talks about a right not to have an abortion, which in a nutshell says that the freedoms of Italian women to dispose of their bodies are going to be restricted. And this is, in fact, non-negotiable. In other words, there are rights that have been acquired through long struggles, and we absolutely do not want to give in any kind of regression. Protesters took to the streets in Hungary's capital, Budapest, to demonstrate against Hungary's tightening of abortion rules. The current Hungarian rules already restrict the circumstances under which women can ask for an abortion. A decree passed earlier this month now forces women to listen to the fetal heartbeat before they can make an abortion request. Activists say the new decree will do nothing but humiliate and traumatize women who want to undergo the procedure. In North Africa, protesters demonstrated in the Moroccan capital city of Rabat. They were calling for legalized abortion after a teenage girl died following a clandestine procedure. Abortions in Morocco are punishable by up to five years in prison, except for cases when the women's health is in danger. In 2015, Morocco noted that hundreds of illegal abortions were being carried out daily and in terrible conditions. Lawmakers debated the need to reform legislation, but ultimately did not change the laws. Mexico, where in 2021 the Supreme Court declared that laws banning abortion were unconstitutional, saw people protesting peacefully with dance, song and signs in support of abortion rights. Abortion has historically been difficult in conservative Catholic Latin America. While some countries like Argentina, Colombia, Cuba and Uruguay have legalized it, abortion is still completely banned in El Salvador, Honduras and Nicaragua. In Chile and Brazil, it is uh, permitted only in cases of rape or where there is a risk to the mother or to the fetus. Thousands of people across Latin America protested on Wednesday in favor of legalizing the procedure. Rallies were seen in the capital cities of Peru, Venezuela, Chile and Colombia. The protesters say they are fighting for a just future. I'm here because I want all women to be able to decide on whether or not they want to be a mother. I have two daughters and I want them to have a future where they can decide. I am here for the right of all to decide.